Good morning, everyone. Today I'm back with the collection obsession, and it's the Simple Stories Weathered Garden, Vintage Weathered Garden. <laughs> okay, um, I have pulled in a wood paper, and it's from a paper pad. I have no idea which one it's from. It looks like it's got looks like wormwood <laughs> and um, so it looks pretty weathered and I am going to back my paper with this and so I'm going to get it started and I missed hanging out with you guys yesterday we did get rid of a lot of stuff. We didn't make a whole lot of money, but we got rid of stuff, which, I mean, that was really my goal. And so, that was really exciting. Okay, so I've got that, and I am scrapbooking. Well, Brenna's here and Tegan, but this one's gonna be about Tegan. And so I've got Tegan here. Um, she was scrapping, ne or scrapping, picking green beans next to Grandpa. Brenda's over here. I think she wanted to be as close to being out of the garden as possible. <laughs> so I've got two of Tegan where they've got, where she's got, this one has, I think they're morning glories, but they're blue. So I don't, I don't know. I remember we used to have white ones in Wisconsin. So, but the ones that are growing our garden all the time are these blue ones. And I'll tell you, they vine everywhere. And then I have Tegan, and she is missing her teeth this year. And so it must have been probably, let's see, she's 13 now. When they lose their teeth right about six. So it must have been, what, seven years ago? I don't know. I'll have to sit down and do the math. <laughs> but um, her and Grandpa, they every time they found a whole bunch of beans, they would go, it's a bean, green bean gold mine. So that's going to be my title. And I'm gonna, going to, you know, I got that slang, <laughs> like what, um, like um, Scylla was talking about, this, her slang is so funny. Yeah, I have it too, and I'm from Wisconsin, so it's just everywhere. Okay, so I think I'm going to have them about like this. And I need to have, I'm going to put, make the most of this day right here where it almost looks like a sign hanging off the bottom of the picture. So I am going to pause, tape the pictures down. Oh, I'm actually going to have them over this way a little bit more because I want them to kind of be centered here and here and and I'm working around this butterfly um, it's the only thing I'm actually working around if I don't see these flowers that's fine and because I'm gonna add some flowers to it so I'm gonna pause get these things down and I'll be right back okay now I've almost got all my title down and I am going to um, take one of these rings. This one says, you are amazing. And I'm gonna stick it right here because it says, you are amazing, twice. So I only need for it to show one time. So I am going to put some tape on it. And I'm using tape just in case I have to move it a little. Okay. So I'm having to pull some out of the way. Back to the back. Okay. And I am going to stick that oh, probably about right there. I think that will be it. And then I have the E and the N that I want to have in kind of in the middle of the circle, or into part of the circle. 
and I had these all the way down and then I remembered and I have to say maybe that's why they started <laughs> decided to make um, thicker is because they it's really nice when you want to squeeze something in or you know pick them up they still are easy to maneuver okay and then I have a butterfly here and I am actually I think I'll put these down first if I can pick them up and I've got a little heart that's green uh, my bottle always pulls off the whole yellow part too remember I pull my glue off and this one is the one that's kind of a, a deep turquoise or kind of a um, aged or maybe it's weathered turquoise. I'm going to stick that right here and then I'm going to overlap it with this green plaid one. or I should say it's gingham. So I'm going to put that down here. And then I'm going to um, tuck this little butterfly kind of near the hearts. And I don't have my little tray I throw stuff in. So I'm just going to kind of make it look like it's landed onto the hearts. And then I have one that's kind of an ivory color and I'm going to stick that kind of underneath the part where it says amazing just slightly because you know how I like to layer things and so I have the title and then five things and actually if you count each word everything is um, then you have nine things so I'm you know getting my my odds in because they're pleasing to the eye. Now I've taken this piece and these are all from the bits and pieces with the exception of this one is from the sticker sheet and I've put foam on the back, that fun foam that I picked up the last time I was at Walmart. Oh and my picture or my um, letters, I think they are thickers and they are and I had bought some at Walmart and then my friend went to Walmart and bought some more. So they were the ones I knew that I would have enough letters to get all the, I mean I had to have four E's. And you know how easy that is, as in not at all. Okay, and I'm gonna take this piece here and this is from one of the bits and pieces and it says living the good life and I'm going to stick this up here but it's not going to overlap her head. And I'm one of these people, I don't like to take a flower and tuck it underneath where it doesn't look like a flower anymore. Um, so if you see a flower on my page, rarely, well if I tuck it in I'll probably add a flower someplace so you, you, can, you won't notice that there's one actually tucked under. I don't know. I would have to look at my pictures, but I mean my layouts, but um, I do like it where you still see the flowers. Okay, so I'm sticking this and I'm just leaving a little bit of space. I almost kind of want it to look like um, it's kind of hanging off the bottom of her picture. And then I have a big cluster I'm putting over here. And I've got, um, and these are all the, the bits and pieces. The one says better together and the other one is live simply. And I'm actually going to overlap them so you won't actually see the, um, the whole um, better together one. But um, you'll just see the live simply one. And... I want this. I'm trying to remember how I had it. <laughs> um, I think kind of like yeah, one tilted, one not. And then um, I have this one of the flowers from the bits and pieces. Oh, maybe I need to pull it over just a little bit more. 
because I want to be able to see this, but um, well, maybe I need to pull it down more. Maybe that's the problem. I don't want to go over her leg, but I think I have pulled it down more than how I started or how I planned it because um, it's like I wanted to make sure that this did not go off the edge. Okay, this looks about right. So I'm just going to put that there next to it. So I'll have a nice, a pretty nice size cluster here. And I'm just going to tip it until I, I mean, I'm not going to cut, you'll still be able to see what the words say. And you might, uh, I, I actually don't even think I've covered up her feet. <laughs> Okay, and then I have this that says right here. And these are my grand, my two oldest granddaughters. And um, they are the ones that, whether it's summer or winter, I mean, all every time they come, I go, so if you could have one thing to eat while you're here, <laughs> You know, I let them pick one of their favorite meals. What would you like me to make? Would you like this or that? And they'll they'll always go, oh yeah, you know what whatever you, whatever you want to make us, Grandma. But we really like chicken, green beans, and mashed potatoes and gravy. And I gotta tell you, I know it's they just eat the green beans <laughs> and the chicken so that they can have the mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> And it's so funny because one time um, I just, I cook my chicken in, I'll do like chicken breasts and I'll put them in cream of chicken. And um, and it's like, you know, I always make it, they're off playing, you know, playing dress up or something. And um, they will be, um, oh, and I'm sticking this butterfly here. And these two things are up on dimensionals. So they'll be off playing and one time, um, I had their dad pick me up some cream of chicken because like any every place around me I could not get it and um, anyhow they were like how come dad had to pick up cream of chicken and I said well because you wanted um, chicken mashed potatoes and gravy in. and um, the oldest one she just looked at me like I had committed some horrible horrible unbelievable sin because I she didn't know that it was actually cream of chicken soup it was just hilarious <laughs> okay now I've got Gina Marie um, enable dots again and she's wearing this really dark pink and since this um, one is for her I'm gonna use these dark pink ones because they match perfectly um, I just bought some new enamel dots and I got them yesterday but um, Anyhow, it's like, I was, I thought, oh, I should show you guys those, but it was, I don't know how weird that would be to look at, like, 30 packages of <laughs> enamel dots, but if you want to see them, I will show you, so, <laughs> um, just let me know. They are beautiful. I was going to use blue because of this little flower, but that's, like, the only thing in here that's blue, so I thought, I'm going to go with the pink. It matches her outfit. So, okay, now I am going to bring um, just these over here. So, uh, now I actually have an even number, but I have an odd number of these and an odd number of these. So, I'm going with that this time. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I work it out. <laughs> work it out so it's all odd. Okay. And even though I did not cover up this butterfly, I'm going to treat it like it's part of the paper, like it is. And, um, and I'm using this as my triangle. And um, even though there's words here, I'm still going to just do the um, enamel dots in these areas.
Oh, and I still have a hard time getting them out. Oh, these are the, that's because these are the old ones. The new ones are a little easier to get off until I divide them up into color, which I, I will do because it's just so nice to um, have them grouped together like that. Let's see. I want to stick another one down here. Okay, I think that looks good there. I keep thinking some of these little dark spots are something else on my page. Oh, my husband's um, vacuuming. I just feel like I have a maid today since I'm here doing this and, and you guys can maybe hear vacuuming going on. <laughs> thrill, thrill. He, he is really good at vacuuming. Okay, so there it is and I will have close-ups at the end. This is number three of the um, collection obsession and so I do have one more to go and um, I just thought I would do this because I found these pictures and I thought oh these can definitely go on that paper so that's why I did this one today I know I usually the last time I tried to spread it out over the month um, I probably will have this <laughs> done in you know this week so um, well, thank you for joining me, and I'm sorry I miss, missed y'all yesterday, but we did, you know, get a lot of stuff out of the garage, so I'm happy about that, and you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.